Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to come on here and kind of get some things off my chest, especially dealing with this grief. Um, I guess I want to entitle this from the Superman to the Clark Kent syndrome. How do you deal with this type of thing, this kind of grief? I guess some days you will feel like Superman and some days you'll feel like, uh, excuse me, Clark Kent. Honestly, you're both. You're one and the same. Some days... You know, I have little things that I do to help me through the days. Like right now, I'm outside in one of my sons, both of my sons' favorite spots in the backyard, sitting in front of the woods. I'm looking at a butterfly pass by right now, actually. Um, I, I come out here for a sense of serenity and um, a little bit of peace. When I think about them, I go in their places where, you know, they used to be, dwell, whatever you want to call it just to feel their presence. Um, it's beautiful out here, and um, I'm enjoying just being able to see it. Um, hmm. One of the things that I'm really kind of thinking about as I sit out here, hold on a second. Mm, got dog on bugs. Sorry. Yeah, um, one of the things that I'm thinking about as I kind of sit and reflect on them um, is their laughter and their smiles. And I've also come to the realization dealing with, I guess you would quote unquote call it uh, Superman, Superwoman kind of thing is it may seem like you have this super natural strength which you do God is still carrying you but some days people may think that you don't feel or you're hiding behind stuff no you just have certain people who you choose to let your guard down with who you choose to fall to pieces with and they know who they are you know you everybody don't have that privilege or that right to get to see that and it's okay um some days I guess I could say I feel like Superman, Superwoman, whatever you want to call it. And a lot of days I feel like Clark Kent. Like I said though, still it's still one and the same. Um, you have your moments and you have to take your time and you have to breathe. And I'm saying all this so I can play this video back when I'm a mess, a puddle of mess and feel like I don't want to go forward anymore or don't have the strength to because sometimes this type of thing it literally takes your breath away it stifles you it changes your being and who you are when you lose a child or you lose children um, it's unnatural that's why it feels the way it does it's, it's nothing natural about this situation it's nothing natural about losing your children it's nothing natural about you know this process period so I just wanted to kind of reach out and let some of you moms know that you're not the only one. You feel like you can't breathe? Take a deep breath and breathe. You feel like you want to scream? Run around and scream. You feel like you want to sleep for two days? Sleep for two days. But own it. Feel it. You know, I was just going through a lot of motions where I wasn't feeling it. I was numb. Like when you go to the dentist and you have Novocaine. You know, it, it numbs you for a while, but after a while, that numbing is going to wear off. The whole process is going to wear off, and you're going to have to feel it. You're going to have to own it. So what I'm dealing with now is the process of feeling it and owning it, and it's not easy. Not just me, but I'm speaking on my behalf, my family, um, Michael, my Kia, Faye, in her own little way, you know, we're living it. We're in reality with it now. Um, hello again, it's just helping me to grieve and take my focus off myself so much but at the same time I'm learning to balance it sometimes I need to focus on me and own it and feel it and don't run from it what's happening is this thing is big it's caught up with me now it's squeezing the life out of me I can't run from it anymore I gotta own it I gotta feel it I gotta tell God where I am this is where I am you know I'm outside and I'm stuck and I'm in pieces but I do find peace um as I said, when I come outside and sit here, where I know my sons would be, I'm in front of, I'm outside, as you can see, a net, a basketball goal net at Scooby's. You know, this is this is his dwelling place. This is where he lived, outside. 
Mike he's like being in the woods thinking and have his earphones in you know so my advice to you parents moms whoever's viewing this when you're feeling it own it find a place where they would be your children would be go in their rooms put on their shoes put on their jackets I got on Mikey's shirt today do something where you can feel them tell them how you feel and write them a letter I'm sure they can hear you um and sometimes when your mind plays tricks on you, you go through a process where you ain't sure they can hear you or, or God or nobody else, honestly. You're just mad. And it, it's not fair. It, it just don't seem quite right. And, you know, I think about this is my uh, my son's senior year of high school. I'm looking at all the prom pictures. And <laughs> I'm not saying that for sympathy from you or anything like that. I'm telling you where I'm at. I'm looking at the prom pictures. I'm looking at people, children driving cars and going on dates and experiencing this, preparing for graduation. And I feel like I was robbed of that, you know, robbed of that opportunity. Yeah, yeah, I feel like, okay, I'm I'm happy. My keys, I think, is wonderful. Got the biggest promotion there is. He's graduated to heaven. That's some remarkable thing. But in my human flesh and my body, sometimes I feel like I'm glad I, I'm a uh, oh my God, my soul rejoices. My spirit is so willing to receive that and know that and own it. But my flesh is so weak that it don't care. You know, I feel like I just want my children back. I know where they are. They're safe. They basically probably more than us, what we have to go through uh, from day to day. Because it's, that's where they are is paradise. It's so serene. And they're having the times of their lives. They can't even explain it to us. Or we can't comprehend it with our little finite minds. But... I know all of that, but I still want my children back. I'm not saying that selfishly. I'm saying that's where I am. I'm owning it. I'm feeling it. I'm not angry at God for his decision um, to not stop or I, I know he didn't cause it. It was premature, but he's sovereign at the same time. But, you know, it's still the laws of uh, the earth realm, I call it, I guess, and just the laws of gravity, the laws of this this atmosphere, this system, this world system that we live in that governs us that we'll never quite understand. So I won't uh, go into all of that. I don't want to flip anybody's mind up, but I understand it. So I'm going to sit here in peace and own what I feel. If I feel like bawling my eyes out later, I will. If I feel like taking a drive, I will. Sometimes I just don't want to be bothered. Just I just want to be in it and, and, and wallow in it and, and feel it sometimes. A lot of time I can't handle the feeling. You can't handle the feeling. If you truth be told, you want to do a lot of things. You might want to, for your first time in your life, feel like getting stone drunk. That's just the truth. Getting high, that's just the truth because you want that pain to stop so bad. But there is a high that will take you to a place you've never been before, I, I promise. God will come for you right where you are. His arms are never too short to reach you in the gutter, wherever you may be, he's there. I know that, I know all of that. But sometimes, like I said, I don't care about any of it. I just want my children back. That's the proper thing to say, but it's true. It's sweet, and it's true. But at the same time, I feel like I don't care. That's true, and uh, sometimes, my spirit understands that's true. Sometimes my head don't. A lot of times my head and my heart have to catch up with my spirit. All of it's true. I own all of it. So my advice to you today is own all of it. Feel all of it. One day behind my smile and your smile, one day it's going to be genuine again. It ain't going to be fake. It ain't going to be a mask. You're really going to be smiling from your soul and your heart. It ain't a day for me, but... A day is coming where I love again in that way and feel again and it be real. My smile be with purpose and sincere. Until then, I'm going to own it and I'm going to feel it. So, hey, butterfly. Hey. See, I look for signs. I look for my babies all the time. When I see butterflies, I think about them. When I see blue cardinal birds, I think about them. You have to see the movie The Shack to know what I'm talking about. I, I saw those blue birds before I even saw the movie The Shack, and I'm not going to give it away, so you have to see it. 
<sighs> when I see a red bird, I think about Scooby. I'm seeing so many butterflies right now. It's unreal. That's my babies. They let me know <laughs> that uh, they're near. They're in everything and everywhere because they're in God and God is in them and they are where he is. That's my spirit talking because it knows the truth. So if God is in everything and everywhere, 